right here, I hit the brake too hard. The back end kicked out, but the bike stood right back up like this. And I shot straight off this embankment right here. So you just imagine, you like it. Most time you catch it just like that right there. This will probably be my last solo trip uh, as far as trying to. Oh yeah, I jumped that one, jumped that one. That was cool. Dabbed. Today's gonna be a good day for me. One, I'm gonna ride the Georgia Traverse. Two, I'm gonna do some solo motor camping. But third, and most importantly, I'm gonna release this monkey off my back by going and visiting the area that I crashed in. I'll go back to the same spot, so I'll show that all to y'all. It's been something that's been weighing on me. I just gotta get over that hump. So I'll be comfortable riding in the mountains again and doing all this stuff. Now this is, this is a solo trip, but hey, it is what it is. Good Lord's gonna take care of me. So let's get on the bike. Let's get after it. All right, y'all, we off. I'm a little nervous about this whole thing, especially going back to where I crashed at, but hopefully, like I said, this monkey will get off my back and start fresh and get back to being completely who I am, who I was before the crash. I'm on uh, Highlands Highway right now. I'm actually running some of the SCAR, but the SCAR, the Georgia Traverse, Smoky Mountain 500, a lot of them use the same roads here and there they cross over each other but i have to be honest with y'all his nerves are getting to me uh being back up in this curvy road close to where i crashed i went too far away from a uh, war woman road is where i crashed and uh just riding these curvy mountain roads again is uh got me a little nervous but like i said i got to get the monkey off my back somehow i'm turning on the war woman road this is where it happens. Right down here. Holy, I'm so nervous about this, so crazy. All right, I went up War Woman and turned around and heading back down towards where I turned in at. This is the way I was traveling. I just left the dirt road that day, coming down through this way. I come around this turn right here and this, this curve snuck up on me and I went straight off that right there and I'll get off the bike and show you uh, exactly how high it is hopefully the gopro will show it like i was telling y'all before I'm, I'm pretty nervous about this it's being up here is kind of overwhelming to be honest that it might not show my face too much but man i got lucky to survive this one but i'll show you again on this camera i was coming down that right hand turn i turned that this left hander snuck up on me wasn't going too fast over the speed limit but uh too much over the speed limit but i just got distracted with something else and the bike Right here, I hit the brake too hard. The back end kicked out, but the bike stood right back up like this. And I shot straight off this embankment right here. So you just imagine, you like you're gonna ride your bike off of this. And I bailed out in the middle air, mid air somewhere. I'm guessing I probably landed on my feet somewhere at that first little tree right there. The bike came to rest in that little pocket down there and I was about 10 feet above it. And then I had to, Sit down there for about 15 minutes yelling for help nobody could hear me i would walk down there but i can't get back up that right now and you can't see you couldn't nobody could see me from down there so i had to crawl back up this hill all this embankment rough stuff right here and i laid right there until somebody stopped to help me um i don't know if this gopro is gonna do it justice or not but let me see if you can get up there i mean it's it's up there just looking at it again because i didn't know i was out of it that day and just looking at it right now it was amazing i survived it man the, the lord was looking out for me that day i'll tell you what you can see it in person it's it's nuts and it's all grew up and everything else got lucky i'm gonna sit here and chill for just a minute take this in and try to shake some of these nerves and probably say a little prayer and we'll get back after it well that monkey has been released off my back i think still gonna be a little nervous about these mountain roads paved roads because the way it is until i get completely over it but it feels much better now just to come back to this place to be honest with you and let's get that off my back now let's go find some gravel some dirt some creeks to cross and uh see where we end up camping tonight let's go make a good day of it 
and just about a mile down from that crash area get our first gravel today overflow creek road the only thing that's affecting me right now riding wise my back's been feeling pretty good it's been kind of still stiff and i don't twist a lot but oh uh, it's my legs especially my left leg all that nerve damage just standing up on the bike after a minute it gets to me some of these rougher roads like this I ain't got no choice but to stand up so my knees my knees start hurting like it's gonna blow out is what it feels like i don't know what's going on with that but all i can say is part of the nerves all that nerve damage is what's causing it, i guess even the doctors really don't even know run into some more bikers i didn't think on a wednesday i'd run into anybody and the reason i'm out here on wednesday is because i'm about to start working full time again thankful for that start monday so this is a cool overlook right here in a little town called sky valley it's overlooking clayton it's beautiful down here again gopro paul won't do it a hundred percent justice but all the mountains out there really cool beautiful day beautiful day i'm just outside of dillard georgia now that uh, overlook i was showing y'all from sky valley i said it overlooked clayton but that's actually overlooking dillard still making my way along uh trying to make it to Tallulah river road and charlie's creek road and that's why i'm gonna try to camp tonight on charlie's creek but it's been a little busier out here than i thought it would be so that best spot on that whole road that you can actually park a bike on and camp might be took up i ain't sure so I'll have to wait and see but i get to cross the river and hopefully a couple more creeks right off this road if uh, the road is actually open it's may 1st so they might have closed it today but we'll see pulled over to take me a little break and eat me a snack it's almost 1 30 i'm pretty hungry but this is uh patterson gap road is what we've been traveling i think this road is only open some parts of the year and i don't know the exact number of it but it's on the 500 and the georgia traverse uh this is pretty cool to go through here and cross a couple little creeks the fun little jeep kind of road to ride and then we'll head over to Tallulah river road so take a little break and we'll get back after it all right break time's over let's go ride this fun road and cross a couple little creeks before we get to the big crossing the Tallulah river That's a baby creek. Hey, baby creek. The fish in there. That's cool. It's pretty down in here. Rhododendron is cool. So green right now. So green. This creek short, but it's pretty deep. Or usually it is. I don't know which side to go to. It ain't so deep. Yeah, it don't matter. Yeah. I didn't want wet feet, but I got them. That was the deepest uh, creek I got to cross on this bike so far. So I guess the Kimimoto lithium battery is okay because I said, if y'all don't know, it's behind the skid plate. It was underwater, so I guess it's all right. There's some uh, pretty decent camping on this road right here. So for, for some reason, if I can't camp on Charlie's Creek, I might come back over here. But I already told my wife, that's about where I was going to be is on Charlie's Creek or Tallulah Road. That way she could sort of know the general area I'm in. Area, area that I'm in. That road and those creek crosses was fun, but this is one of my favorite roads to ride in North Georgia. This is Tallulah River Road. It's about to turn the gravel right here. And I want to stop. I don't know if I've ever got this on camera. It's a cool little overlook area right here. White water. This is the uh, Tallulah River. So we'll be crossing it soon. Just figured I'd stop here for a minute. I got plenty of time. It's only a little after two o'clock and I'm about to be at the spot I'm gonna camp at. I don't know what I'm gonna do the whole time, just sitting there. Beautiful down here though. Peaceful. Not too far past that overlook, you get on uh, gravel on Tallulah River Road. Like I said, this is a absolute beautiful road to ride. 
and it, it parallels the uh, river the whole way sometimes you can't see it as good like the river itself but most time you catch it just like that right there easy gravel road good pack down i mean you can ride it on anything but it's just got good beautiful scenery and sometimes the river's on your right sometimes the river's on your left the road just snakes up through here a couple people out here fishing absolutely beautiful and of course you get to do this uh river crossing which is fun let this truck come across i'm gonna go for it do it to it homie they fixed all this right here at the beginning part of it the new gravel down right here dabbed oh a little sloppy but first time in a long time so i'll take it now we're on charlie's creek road this is where i'm gonna try to camp at i hope so anyway there's a cool little campsite down here i always wanted to camp there but it's about every time i've ever been up here somebody's been in it Charlie Creek's a fun road to ride too. A little rough in spots. Makes it a little challenging. Makes for a good time. Seems like two or three creek crossings on this road. Oh yeah, I jumped over one, jumped that one. That was cool. Oh nobody's in the campsite. Good. So rusty. Paying attention to this campsite. Y'all seen on camera dump the bike, something I didn't want to happen. I don't know if I'll be able to pick it up or not. I'm gonna start trying though. Got no choice. Well, sorry, Laura, you had to see that if you watched it. I had no choice but pick it up myself. Come back straight. Did it. Dumb mistake. I didn't want to do today. Oh, God. You know, if you follow this channel for a while, you know I try to keep it real, especially when it comes to anxiety and depression and all that stuff and whatever else. I got a lot of anxiety right now. I don't know if it's started about an hour ago and it just keeps creeping in got pretty bad at one time and dropping the bike and knowing i'm out here by myself is not something i wanted to do and that made it elevate twice as much so i'm trying to calm down uh like i said i just want to put on video not only for anybody out there it might it might help but for myself too to see how i overcome stuff but it's up pretty high right now I, this will probably be my last solo trip uh, as far as trying anything overnight if i stay overnight uh until at least another six months because i don't need to be picking that bike up like that so but we'll uh chill out for a minute and see what i can do with this stuff see if i can calm it down a little bit well after sitting here for about 30 minutes i got my anxiety to calm down but my back's starting to get really stiff and it's worrying me a little bit uh I didn't tweak it when I fell off the bike. I tweaked it when I was picking it up. I used good body posture, but probably shouldn't be doing that yet. Uh, probably shouldn't be out here on this technical top riding by myself and especially not making uh, dumb mistakes. I actually started unpacking all my stuff and I was gonna camp, but I don't think I'm gonna call it because I'm afraid if I sleep in my sleeping pad, especially not knowing what it's gonna do anyway with my back already tightening up, that I won't be able to get out of here tomorrow and uh pretty worried about that so it's a failure on my part it's pretty disappointing and uh a letdown to myself and i apologize if i let y'all down um y'all 
don't want to watch anymore i understand this is this is a, a failure on my part but hey it is what it is nothing i can do about it at this point I'm still trying to learn teach myself lessons as i go with what my body can take and what it can't so next time i'll go out and i'll be out with timmy camping and just make it safer as always appreciate y'all watching and uh see y'all in the next one